The qubit we are building is based on superconducting integrated circuits. They are very sensitive to many environment pieces. You have to be super clean. You need to be extremely careful about the process you want to go through. By the time you have a qubit sitting there, you don't want it, the qubit to talk to anything at all because you want to preserve its information as long as you can. But you cannot do it because you need to control it. So you cannot be completely isolated. So this is a dynamic we have to solve. So what we have done is we do very careful design such that you can control the qubit accurately, but just enough. Such that whatever perturbation introduced by those control, they are minimized as much as possible. I think this is actually the secret source of our team to have achieved the first demonstration of what we call verifiable quantum advantage. This particular experiment, not only you can repeat and make sure it's true on your own quantum computer, you can take it to any quantum computer in the world, no matter it's built on which platform, you can produce it. I feel this is just the beginning of a real race between quantum computers doing something useful compared with a classical computer. We can perform this measurement 13,000 times faster than a classical computer. This is very impressive because even with the qubit you have in your hand right now, they have noise, they have errors, but somehow you can do something quite interesting with them that classical computer already cannot do.